Because I wear glasses, any time I leave the house, I run the risk of becoming separated from those glasses. Um, whether I'm out in the wilderness, anything could go wrong. I could take a branch to the face and my glasses could fly off and go down a ravine. Um, even in an urban environment, uh, they can get knocked off of my, my face on a train. I could get jostled, you know, in the, in the subway. Um, someone else could come along and step on them. Even if you wear contact lenses, uh, a raccoon could make off with your contact lens case in the middle of the night. It, it could happen. So, um, what, what to do? Most of us, although we should carry an extra pair of glasses with us, we generally don't. I don't. I don't know anyone else who does. It's a good idea if you can do it, if you can afford to do it, because buying two sets of prescription glasses can be quite expensive. But um, I want to show you guys a little trick that um, can help you in an emergency when you do become separated from your uh, glasses. They could, it could help you at least to get by, um, which is <laughs> a big help. And this will work with anyone with any kind of vision, whether you're nearsighted or farsighted. It'll improve your vision in the short term enough so that um, you can see close, you can read, you can see a sign far away. I mean, this is my issue. If I lose my glasses, I can't, I can't read a map. I can't read a sign. I, I just see colors. So uh, I, I'm going to call this a hack, but um, I, I really don't like that word hack because if you have to rely on a hack, it implies that you're unprepared in the first place. But let's go under the assumption that yes, we are unprepared here. We don't have an extra pair of glasses or contact lenses and uh, we're in trouble now. We've lost our glasses. So what do we do? Um, all of us carry something with us um, uh, in our packs. Let's say we're out on a hike. Um, our backpacks usually have a first aid kit, uh, a field journal, a, 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 a pin, for example, uh, is in most first aid kits. Um, aluminum foil is usually used by hikers who want to create a windscreen for um, an alcohol stove, for example. Um, we carry pens. Basically, what we want to do is take a small piece of foil. Now, um, we're going to take our pin and just make this a little smaller. We're going to take our pin and just put a hole in the foil, right in the middle. That's it small hole in the foil, almost imperceptible. Now if you don't have foil, you can use a business card, you can use, uh, again, a piece of paper. If you're in an urban environment, you're on a train, for example, someone's always leaving a newspaper behind. Um, if you don't have anything like that, uh, you can use some leaves. The darker the better, um, but be careful with leaves because you want to make sure it's something benign and not something that has a really great shape like poison ivy which can uh, cause you more trouble than than you're already in so by taking the material whether it's paper or foil um, you've punched a hole in it now what you're going to do is hold that up to your eye now what this does is it only allows a limited amount of light into your eye. Now if you need glasses in the first place it's because your lens isn't working right. The light from a reflected object is going into your eye and your eye is supposed to bring that into focus so that the image is displayed on your retina and your brain can process the data. But in my case for example I have astigmatism so the light going into my eyes instead of coming to a point and getting focused it scatters. So this operates on what's known as the pinhole effect. Now, uh, the old pinhole cameras, they were literally boxes. They did not have a lens and they only allowed a small amount of light in that pinhole which then bounced onto the back of a piece of film which on, was on the back of the camera. It required a, a considerable amount of time for the light to go in but the image quality of these photos was unbelievable. So this is the same principle. The light is going in 
but it's not letting all of the light in. It's only letting a little bit of the light in so your eye doesn't have to process all of the data that's coming through to it. Now, you're going to lose peripheral vision, but you will be able to see well enough to even read a map. I can read if I hold it the right way up, I can read I can read just about everything on this page now. And looking out, there's a stop sign on the corner. I see it clearly. It's really a remarkable thing. Now, I wouldn't drive with this, obviously, but again, if you really need to get someplace or you need to see something and you don't have your corrective lenses, this is the way to do it. Now, let's say <clears throat> this is the absolute worst case scenario. You don't have any foil. You don't have any leaves. There's no business cards, no newspaper, nothing. You have absolutely nothing. Well, you can still utilize this effect by making a pinhole with your finger. And as long as you maintain and make the pinhole very small and maintain its shape, you can have the same effect with just using your hand. I hope this helps you guys and uh, stay tuned for the next one and thanks again for stopping by.